Hello and welcome to this week's tutorial. I'm going to be painting the Reaper Miniatures Hippocampus miniature. So first off, the model was pre-shaded as usual with a coat of Space Walls Grey and slightly lighter coat on the upper extremities where the uh, model would catch the light. Then an overall coat of contrast Althematic Blue was applied, quite liberally making sure it goes in all the nooks and crannies and the recesses, a lot of very fine detail on the scales of this model, so making sure the paint really gets in all the areas because obviously the subsequent paint coats are going to have to go on top of this. Nevertheless, I had to work quite quickly because you'll see in a minute I've got to blend the different shades in. So I really had to get my skates on when I painted this base coat on. So once the blue had been applied, I started adding the Plague Bearer Flesh Green Contrast paint. So the two colours blended together. I'm trying to be as sparing as possible, just sort of selective and uh, not loading the brush up as much. So it just sort of sits in the details a little less and doesn't swamp the blue that's underneath. It gives it a really nice prismatic kind of effect when, when you get it right. Um, but again, you've got to work quite quickly because obviously the different paint shades dry really quite quickly and you want them to blend together as naturally as possible. So once the one side was done, I just thought I'd experiment on the side that wouldn't be seen just in case the effect didn't work. I started painting the side that would be displayed using the same technique pretty much. Uh, in this case, uh, I didn't dilute the paint. I used it straight out the pot as you can see here to get a slightly thicker effect. And again, just making sure all the areas are covered and also making sure that none of the paint leached on the other side of the model to get an unnatural effect, any drips left over in other words. So again, you see I'm blending the green. It went really quite nice, just rubbing some of the excess away of my finger on the surfaces that would catch the light. And you can see the pre-shade showing through here, getting a really nice effect. Now the head, I went backwards and forwards several times. I'm blending the colors from both pots as I, as I go ahead, because basically, obviously, it's a real highlight of the model and you want this to look as good as possible. Now the fins were painted with Leandrin yellow contrast paint. Uh, again, the pre-shade really did its work here, just showing through underneath. And a few coats were added. You can see I'm going back here and adding a little bit more of the recesses of the, the uh, fins just to really make them stand out. So I thought the spines looked a little bit dull, they looked a bit dark. So I went and added some green, quite heavily diluted, with a bit of paint retarder, so I blended into the base coat, or I had the option to blend in further on. Um, and I thought that made them stand out a bit more. I wasn't quite happy with... Uh, the blending I'd done with the paint. So basically I went back with the airbrush, loaded it up with some blue, add some highlights to the spines and the body of the model itself. Now while this was drying, I did some dry brushing with Hexas Palace and yellow, just on the tail and the edges of the spines. Um, this really helped bring out the detail. It's an area I didn't really want to airbrush it. I just wanted quite, quite a quite high level of contrast. You can see here, I'm just going backwards and forwards and it really brings out the detail on the spines. Now again, to get a really nice transition on the spines, I gave them a dry brushing with Citadel Niblet Green, just around the base, just to bring out the, the color a bit more. Um, and it worked really quite well. Got a nice translucent, nice, nice um, transition between the different colors on the spines. So again, some final dry brushing with some light gray just on the tips, just to complement what I'd done with the airbrush. The light gray was also used on some areas of the tail as well as the body itself, just to bring out areas that would be captured by the light. Again, I'm putting some very, very sparingly just to catch the top of the scale detail on the model. Now the fins, when all the rest of the paint and dry brushing was dry, received the coat of uh, Seraphin Sepia, just in the recesses, just to add a further level of contrast. You can see I went back again, some areas added yet another layer, just to really make a big difference between the light and dark shades. It really helped and bring out the dry brushing as well, the highlights that I'd added at the top of the fins. So I went back and added another very light um, dry brushing of uh, very light grey almost, just on the upper surfaces of the model, being careful not to uh, cover up too much of the base coat. Again, this is just areas that would catch the light and added the sort of translucent nature of the paint finish, hopefully. So the model nearing completion, I added some highlights around the head. You see here the nose and the eye socket. I'm just adding a very light blue, very subtle highlights because obviously it's going to be a focal point of the model. And I went back and forward to get a really nice effect. I was horsing around with this for quite a while. Now, I went in and added a Goldman Blue Glaze from Games Workshop. They don't make these paints more. It's a real shame because it's very useful for adding some extra detail. 
So you see just around the back of the head, I'm adding some more of the blue glaze just to add a shadow coat. Basically getting areas that might be missed by the pre-shading that the contrast paint hadn't quite covered, but retaining the right color. You see my Optivisor getting in the way there. Um, so just around the back of the spines, I added some as well. Using it quite sparingly, but just trying to introduce some shadows to the areas where the light wouldn't catch. And with that, the model was pretty much done. So thanks again for watching. I hope the tutorial has been of use and I shall see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.